Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got an exciting package to open. But before I do that, I just want to give you a quick sneak peek of some of my completions that I've got done. Uh, these were all sent to me by the wonderful people at fgnormal.com. Um, I have been showing um, items from them for quite a while. And uh, yes, yeah, they asked me if I wanted some more things. I said, yes, because the things that I've done so far have been wonderful. So this was my fantastic owl look at that uh, it's still got all the cover sheets on and everything and it's got those lovely heart gems that I've never ever seen before this one was in my february unboxing from fg normal so if you check out my playlist for fg normal um, and have a look for that you will see this one the full unboxing and showing it but as i say i will do a full kit down and everything uh, it does need sealing yeah just just checking i haven't sealed it so it does need sealing that one so that is my gorgeous owl and this is from my january unboxing and this is the arm cover or um visor cover for a car uh, and i have sealed this one it is all ready to go and um, i'm going to put it in the car somebody did ask me if you put things into a car when it gets really hot are they is the glue likely to melt so i have sealed it but we'll see i will try it as i say it's something i've not done before and um, it is actually quite flat Although you think, oh, it's going to stick into you, it is actually quite, you know, flat. I'm not, um, whether it'll be comfy or not to have on like an armrest or something, I'm not sure. But I think the colours have come out fantastically. And uh, yeah, it's got hot pink on it. So it's a definite Liz one, isn't it? But yeah, so that is my little cover tray there. You could just put it on the wall as a picture, to be fair. Or use it as like um, a little tray cover or something like that. But yeah that's come out well but we'll completion review uh, lots of gems left over and lots of specials yay and then i finished my easter cards i did do a kitted up on these uh, they were quite tricky to do because there's some of them have just got one or two gems of one color so i'm really pleased i kitted these up but yeah they've come out beautifully so yeah i've got lots of easter cards to send so keep watching if i've got your address i may just be dropping you an easter card because i've decided i've got so many i do really need to start sending some out much as it is so difficult to send out easter cards or any cards to be honest because i just think they're all so cute but yep so these are now all done and ready to be sent out okay i have got a couple of new items one of them is easter theme fg normal have got a spring sale on at the moment over 40 pounds is free shipping so lots of special off and money off which is what we like yay thank you fg normal and thank you fg normal for sending me these so let's see what did we get oh my goodness oh look at this <laughs> so a lovely easter set of things to do and then i went searching just to have a look at little different bits and pieces you know me i do like to have a look and see what's in the tools section and see what's new and see what there is and there was this pen and it's a multi-function pen it's normally 1.99 but uh, it was one pound four on the website at the moment can't get into this uh, 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 come on look it's a trick one it's a trick one oh there it is <laughs> look i'm easily confused don't trick me on these things so what does it do oh so that's our diamond painting uh single play so look in that end there uh so why are we multifunction oh i like that click oh i think if i was diamond painting with this pen i'd just be sit clicking with it all day sorry if that's getting on your nerves oh look it bends over so do we have a light uh what's that then oh is that like a hang on is that like a little cover oh yes that comes off look so that's got a little cover to stop the uh, little switch going and oh we've got a light wow that's quite a strong light look 
very good so while you're diamond painting if you're in the dark or you need a little bit of extra help let me just click this again <laughs> oh that's something falling over again in the craft room yeah i am sorting things out but that's just fallen over so you can pick up your gems and you can see what you're doing you've got an extra light hey that's really good wow okay let me turn it off so yeah we've got a, a pen with a light but rather than the light being down here which sometimes i find can be a little bit glary it's okay but that's quite good i mean to be honest if you've dropped a gem and you think oh where did that go you can just turn your torch on and have a look around your canvas and see where it's gone oh that's excellent and for uh, i say one pound 49 um or 1.99 without the promotion that's really good quite impressed with that okay i'll put the little uh, shield back on it as well so to stop it from uh, moving the on off switch but yeah see by the time i get them i forget what i've done <laughs> get what they are so it's always a surprise to me as well because i've got a memory like a goldfish <laughs> okay but let's have a look at this this looks really fun it's a four piece diamond painting easter boxes and i think there was two styles i think there was one that was butterfly-ish but this is like the easter one that i got with the easter gonks on it you know i do like my gonks uh, normally 9.99 the offer was £7.49 so let's have a look at this this looks exciting and different yeah i like getting something that's a bit different and a bit crafty so oh installation instructions okay so right looks like we've got a lot of hangers of eggs and then we've got instructions on how to make the boxes all in colour so it's written and um, pictures as well which I like pictures I can get on with pictures we're all standard a oh, hot pink we're all a standard acrylic gems there okay we've got lots of twine which is gold um, with a gold thread running through it so yay uh, pen boat and wax and a few little rip seal bags okay and then these are the boxes and the eggs well let's have a look at these i just love to get new things and try them and see what they're like so we've got all these little diamond painted eggs which are like full coverage and they're a cardboard but they're a little bit coated They've got like a plasticky coating on them. So they're not just full card and they're not, I'm not going to do it too much, but they're not going to tear like cardboard or paper. So they are sort of reinforced with a little bit of a, a plastic coating on them. Okay, so how many eggs have we got? Let's have a look at these. Well, look at those, lads. Look at those, how cute they are with the um, plasticky edges on them. Oh, wow. Okay. So we've got, oh, that's definitely my favourite so far, seeing as I've only looked at one, um, a ladybird one. And we have a flower one in lemon. And that's like a blossomy one in like a pale blue, duck egg blue, actually. And then one with Easter eggs on. Oh, this is a bunny one, look. The bunny will like that one with the heart and the carrot. <laughs> and I'm suspecting that might be a hot pink one. And then we have another greeny one. I'm going to run out of desk here, aren't I? Oh, and we've got a bunny. We've got a little bunny. Oh, how cute. And then more flowers. And then a happy Easter. Yay. And then another egg there. And like a swirly egg. So we've got 12 of those. So that's a really good number. If you're having like an Easter egg hunt then these could be quite nice for your Easter decorations or to sort of like wrap around a tree outside because say they are coated. Uh, I would suggest sealing these once they're actually diamond painted um, and maybe use an outdoor sealer as well. You can get like the Mod Podge and um where was it hobbycraft i think are doing their own outdoor sealer as well so hopefully it would be like weatherproof and then that means you can put these away and get them out each easter 
rather than having to buy new ones. I have to say, when I saw it on the website, I was expecting it just to be like cardboard. But now I've actually seen them, I think that's really good because I say that they're not too heavy either. And there is definitely like a plasticky coating on that. So that should be, you say, fairly weatherproof, fairly good. Lots of string as well to tie them up with so you can do them big or small. You could even put them into key rings. Or to be honest, you know, you could hang them up as like a banner. Put them all on one string and make a banner. Put these I want, I wanted to look at. Look at these little boxes. Oh, I love the fact that they've got the see-through edges. And all that decoration with the flowers and the eggs is just gorgeous. Okay, and they're just, just standard. Oh, these are coated as well. So it is all a plastic, like a, an acetate type material. Very nice. So again, I expected these to be cardboard, but these are going to last year after year, aren't they? So I would suspect maybe score them a little bit before you try folding them. Just get um, a paper folder or something and just score along with your ruler. So, and then it will just all, I'll try and roughly do this. Let me just move these eggs out of the way so we can see the decorations best. Go on, eggs, move up there, move up there. Don't be getting stuck underneath my Scotties. <laughs> So let's have a look at this. Yeah, it is just literally, I would suggest um, if you're going to just use tape, albeit, has it got sticky on the edges? It may have. It has. They've already pre-stuck these for you. I've just put my fingerprint in that one. Better not commit any crimes. My fingerprint's on this. And then it will just, so it needs a really good fold. Um, and a good strong, say, ruler or something, or your pair of scissors, just the edge, just to make these creases really, really strong. But then it's just literally going to fold up as a little basket. Oh, how cute are these? So, yeah, you'll just have your little four-sided basket, your little uh, gonks on one side with her bunny ears, and your little eggs and flowers on the other. These are lovely. Oh, I'm really pleased with these. Got to crack on and get them done though. Bubum, cracking eggs. <laughs> Yay! So we've got four of these and twelve eggs. Brilliant. Let's save for the money. I mean, let's say it was seven pound forty nine on special offer or nine ninety nine normally. But yeah, I mean, it is something you can bring out year after year. That is excellent. Excellent. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, I'll try and stop with the jokes now. I don't know how many. But yeah, isn't she cute? Look, she's got her little Easter basket as well. Um, I suppose you could put some string on these as well. You could always just punch a little hole in that side and that side and use your string and actually use it as a little carry basket. Um, but they're nice for putting bits and pieces in or just for filling with sweets. Um, if somebody's got an allergy or something and you have to buy special sweets and you can't get an Easter egg for them, then you could actually fill one of these. And it's still a really lovely little Easter present. And it's something that, you know, if they've got the allergy, then they've got their own sweets as well in their own little box or their own little basket. Oh, she's really cute. And then this one. Hey, look, he's been egg painting. <laughs> these eggs have got bunny ears on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah he put bunny ears on your easter eggs <laughs> so he's got the bunny ears to match and he's been painting his egg that is a huge paintbrush wow you wouldn't need to do many strokes with that paintbrush would you at that size to paint anything so that's that one and then let's have a look at the next one and then this is another one. oh look he's got slippers on he's got little hot pink slippers and this one's got a smiley bunny on it as well. So they're all different, really different. You know, they could have just done these as just the generic, all the same pattern, but they've made every one different. And that's brilliant. Oh, you can see his mouth a little bit. Look, he's smiling. Mind you, I'm not surprised the size of that Easter egg. I mean, that's bigger than his feet. So imagine getting an Easter egg bigger than your feet. Wow. I could sit and eat that. Not quite sure about the carrot. Probably give that to Millie. Millie, our little Scottish terrier, she likes carrots. She'll fight you for a raw carrot. And then this one, little girl. Oh, and this one's got two bunnies on it, look. 
Oh, these are gorgeous. So we've got two little boys and two little girls. Wow. Oh, these are great. I just love them. So I'm just, uh, yeah, look at that. Aren't they great with all the different things? And so I really did expect these to be just like a cardboard and possibly last this year um, and maybe patch them up a little bit and use them next year. But because they're like the acetate, they're just going to be out each year. They're just great. I love them. Really, really good. And these are a lot bigger than I expected as well, these eggs. So, yeah, very, very impressed. Okay, let's have a look at our colours, see how many we've got. Uh, we've no DMC codes, sadly, so it will just be a generic kitting down. So, where are we? Where are we? 22 colours. Wow, that's a lot of colours. So, I think there's a lot of gems as well. And actually, with this one, the same as I did with the cards, I will kit this one up because it's a lot of packets to have out and some of them again may only have like one or two gems on each one and I do like to do them all at once um, so I would just start with the first colour and put all the first colour on or if you've got them kitted up then you can just do them one at a time but even if you're having like an Easter party or something you could get the kids to do their own um, and if you've got them kitted up, then they'd just have to share the colours, wouldn't they? <laughs> just say, well, I want number one. So they could all just have a little bit of number one in their little trays. I'm sure you've probably got plenty of pens and trays and things spare. So, yeah, they could all do them at once. But brilliant. Loving this. OK. Right. So we're starting off with our standard 310 black there and a Caramac chocolate colour. Used to be able to get Caramac Easter eggs as well. They were always the cheapest. They were only about 30 pence. And you could save up your pocket money and get one of those easily. Uh, and a lovely a purpley colour. And a hot pink. And your nice cherry red. And a limey green. Oh, and a lovely bright orange. And a stone colour. And a baby blue. And a very bright limey green. And a very pale peach. And a pale green. And another lovely sunny orange colour. And a blue colour, mid-blue. Baby pink. And we're back to a hot pink again. A little bit paler pink. Oh, I thought there was none in that one then. I was just thinking, where are they? And then we've got like a, a deep jadey green colour there. And a dark purple. And two aqua colours, which are slightly different. Um, oh, actually, on camera, they do look different. In real life, they look practically the same. And then a big ba bag of your B5200 white at the end. So, yay! They look like good gems as well. Okay, well, huge thank you, FG Normal, for sending me these. They're absolutely wonderful. They are definitely a lot better quality and a lot better than I expected them to be, which is great because that's always a lovely surprise. And it's a surprise! Yay! <laughs> Okay, don't forget to go and check out FG Normal's special offers and everything that they've got going on at the moment. And if you have enjoyed looking at these with me and seeing the completions that I showed at the beginning, and a thumbs up is always very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you want to join our little family, see what we get up to next and see that completion review and not miss it, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come out. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! OK, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.